Hello folks! What does quality mean for the software-defined vehicle? Managing the quality of the software under the hood is not enough. Tomorrow's differentiator will be digital services, and these services are increasingly located in the cloud. So managing quality involves aspects both inside and outside the vehicle. Quality will come from seamless and uninterrupted interaction between the components of services. A key capability here is professional IT service management. But what is IT service management? ITSM coordinates digital services from end to end throughout the vehicle lifecycle and even beyond. My name is Barbara glasbrenner schulz I'm an experienced consultant and trainer at UL Solutions. My expertise in quality assurance covers all aspects, from requirements management to reliable processes and projects to proper implementation in systems. Within UL Solutions, I am involved in our community of practice for IT service management, and I'm a contributor to the Intex Working Group on this topic. In this video, I show you why you cannot achieve and maintain the reliability and attractiveness of the software-defined vehicle without a professional management of IT services. Let's move directly to a practical example. Imagine a very cold winter morning, somewhere in the suburbs. As on every weekday, Bob wants to drive to his office downtown. As usually, he tries to open the car door remotely with his car key, but today nothing happens. Bob can't access his own car. Using the smartphone app on his phone, Bob tries to get information on how to open his car without the key, but the app only reports an unforeseen error. The chat function in the app doesn't help Bob either, so he dials the service hotline. Unfortunately, the line is busy because 15,000 other customers are suffering the same frustration. Using this case, we can see the risks inherent in the software-defined car. A disruption in the digital service chain can even prevent the availability of the car itself. Since digital services are designed to be provided to a large number of customers simultaneously, the failure of one service leads to frustration on a large scale. To complete our scenario, let's assume that the extreme winter cold has activated a safety function to protect the car from a low battery, interrupting an update of a critical function, which in turn has damaged the ECU's bootloader. In the worst case, the problem is so deep in the drive unit that any affected vehicle would have to be towed to the workshop, repaired and serviced for several days. With a mechatronic system as complex as the software-defined car, there is a high likelihood that one simple failure can severely impact the availability of a service or even the entire vehicle. To avoid this nightmare, we should talk about IT service management. First, we need to understand what a service is and what makes it such a challenge. What is a service? A service is not a physical product. By definition, it is entangled and cannot be stored. This means that a service is provided on demand. These aspects also imply that a service is fundamentally fragile because errors can occur at any time during its development, provision or execution. This fragility is especially the case with the software-defined car. Here, a successful execution of the different services relies on the interplay of four columns. I have prepared a graphic on this interaction. Column number one is the in-vehicle and embedded edge. Here we find high-performance computing platforms with independent modules, intelligent sensors, hypervisors, containers and cloud-native apps. The network edge builds column number two. There is a network infrastructure that allows to run cloud-native apps as well as software containers, and it provides communication possibilities. The third column is the cloud. The cloud supports local and global workloads. It usually relies on shared data centers and consists of containers with virtual machines. Finally, column number four is the premise of the service provider. This is the backbone of a service. It allows the centralized and direct communication between the customer's app and the service window. And it allows the sharing of sensitive data. Only when all elements are available and well-functioning at the same time and fit together, a digital service can be provided. Our Bob case at the beginning shows that a minor disruption can triple a service as well as the entire vehicle. Let us formulate a first conclusion. 
services are based on the simultaneous interactions of elements distributed across different environments. So, the service management must ensure the availability and compatibility of these elements. This brings us to the next question. What is IT service management? With the software defined car, IT service management describes the service value chain that covers two dimensions. On the one hand, ITSM is about all the skills required to set up the service. And on the other hand, ITSM addresses the capabilities to run the service operationally. Both capabilities are two sides of the same coin. This is due to the continuous nature of services, which requires a continuous approach. For this, there are six principles on which we can build. First, understand your customers and users. The value orientation is achieved by the combination of the design of a coherent use experience with the service management, through which this experience can be reliably delivered. Second, ensure that your architecture is designed for services. Enable services with the car architecture that supports services. Examples for this are service-oriented architecture as well as microservices. For this, we need to consider the availability targets early and include, for example, the capability for remote factory resets. Another architectural prerequisite for services is updatability. My colleague Janine has prepared another video on this topic. Third, establish close cooperation between development and operations. Use such software and service development concepts that incorporate maintenance and operations. Examples of this are DevOps or Site Reliability Engineering. Fourth, establish end-to-end -end event management and monitoring as early as possible. This principle is elementary for seamlessly linking and coordinating components and activities. The sooner this happens, the sooner expansive errors can be avoided. Fifth, arrange for holistic service continuity management. This again involves all stakeholders throughout the service chain so that the service can be reliably set up and obstacles can be removed at an early stage. Sixth, get feedback as soon as possible. Establish short development cycles and ask your stakeholders for feedback on a regular basis. To achieve this responsiveness, install a high degree of automation as well. With these six principles, you create a continued approach that creates customer value and safeguards the delivery of this value. ITSM is comprehensive because it addresses your business goals, stakeholders, processes, functions, suppliers, as well as your organization. With these insights, we can formulate our second conclusion. ITSM describes the skills required to provide high-quality digital services over the entire service lifetime. This brings us to some final considerations. How can you tackle IT service management? The principles we have worked out can be transferred into an operational model. The best known model for this is ITIL. I will show you its core elements in this graphic. First, service design. Second, service transition. And third, service operation. These three elements are based on a service strategy and are wrapped in a continuous improvement and learning process. Using this model, the various management tasks can be structured and controlled. The ITIL model was originally designed for classic service tasks in IT. However, the applications in the software-defined vehicle with connectivity and the link-up of numerous edge applications require some special considerations. This is where the SPICE for IT services model comes in. This process reference and assessments model provides good practices for several processes. The latter include Relationship and agreement. This topic is on business operations of both parties, customers and suppliers. Supply and demand. Here, the operational resource management is addressed. In resolution and fulfillment service operations, support and assurance are negotiated. Service design, build and transition in this group, new or existing services are developed, released and deployed. Additionally, there are processes on operational control and overall management processes. Let's conclude this overview of the SPICE model. SPICE for IT services gives you a framework at hand that includes the stakeholders and addresses the entire service life. That was my overview of IT service management in the automotive industry. 
we learn three key aspects. First, services are based on the simultaneous interactions of elements distributed across different environments. Service management must ensure the availability and compatibility of these elements. Second, ITSM describes the skills required to provide high-quality digital services over the entire service lifetime. Third, Spice for IT services gives you a framework at hand that's designed for the context of the software-defined vehicle. With Spice for IT services, you can contribute to the proper design, deployment and operation of services that contribute to the success of the software-defined car. Do you want to engage yourself in the further development and piloting of the Spice for Service Management model? Then consider participating in the Intex Working Group. You're welcome. If you learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our other videos. Click on the video and keep on watching. See you soon.